Italy in the middle of the 19th century was divided into a number of states, like the Papal States, Sardinia, Piedmont and the two Sicilies. But the Austrians directly controlled the northeast and the central states were under their influence. However, reform was not forthcoming and liberals and nationalists began to unite and rise up. For instance, Giuseppe Mazzini founded Young Italy to push for unification of the peninsula. Then in early 1848 rebellions broke out in Sicily and Austrian controlled Venice and Milan. The Austrians retreated to the quadrilateral, a fortified zone around four towns, but domestic turmoil in Austria prevented many reinforcements being sent to the region. Nevertheless, the Austrian general von Raditz planned on retaking Milan. Meanwhile, the Kingdom of Piedmont Sardinia was ruled by Charles Albert, and he initially put down liberal uprisings, supported reactionaries in Spain and Portugal, and targeted members of Young Italy. But when Ferdinand II of the Two Sicilies was forced to introduce a constitution, he followed suit to ease tensions. Plus, he shifted his allegiance to the liberal King of France, Louis Philippe, after he fell out with Austria over a trade dispute. Plus, the leader of the Milanese provisional government, Cassati, asked Charles Albert to aid their rebellion. But Mazzini soon arrived in Milan, and like many, he was hesitant about direct annexation, dividing the rebels' cause. So Charles Albert adopted the nationalist tricolor and received thousands of troops from across the Italian states. The united troops entered Milan on March 25th and continued on to Goito, where they defeated the Austrians on May 30th. But the Sicilian rebels had offered Charles Albert the crown of Sicily, something he did not refuse. So the King of the Two Sicilies, Ferdinand II, withdrew his support for the war, and the Pope refused to fight Catholic Austria in a war. So instead of pursuing the Austrians, who were preoccupied with revolutions in Hungary and Vienna, plebiscites were held and Milan and Venice voted to join the Kingdom of Piedmont Sardinia. And so too did the people of the Duchy of Parma, who rose up in April against their new Duke, Charles II. But the lack of campaigning allowed the Austrians to regroup and take Vincenza in early June cutting Venice off from the rest of the states. Then, von Raditz met Charles Albert in battle at Costosa in late July. Although the Piedmontese forces did not suffer a crushing defeat, morale was shook and they signed a truce. Milan was quickly occupied again by the Austrians, but the Venetians held out, and the city was besieged and bombarded for months. While in Rome, the Pope's decision to not fight the Austrians angered many, and in November 1848, the Minister of Justice was assassinated. This was followed by protests which forced Pius IX to flee the city, and the rebels held elections and proclaimed Rome a republic in February 1849. While to the north the Austrians had all but retook Lombardy, but when they seized Mortara near the border of Piedmont, Charles Albert denounced the truce and attacked the Austrians again. But he was crushed at the Battle of Novara in March, and fearing Austrian occupation of Piedmont, he abdicated in favour of his son, Victor Emmanuel, and peace was made. But the rebels in Venice, Sicily and Rome held out, and Mazzini and Giuseppe Garibaldi had come to Rome where their reforms were popular, but caused mass inflation. While in Venice, the besieged population were suffering from famine and cholera outbreaks. However, Louis Napoleon of France, looking to appease the French ultra-Catholics in the New Republic, agreed to send troops to aid the Pope reclaim Rome. Meanwhile, Ferdinand II of the Two Sicilies had sent 20,000 men to retake Sicily in May and the Sicilian Republic collapsed in late June. Then the French were able to capture Rome, and French troops remained in the city until 1870. Finally, the Venetians surrendered in August, and the first war of Italian unification ended in failure. But Victor Emmanuel II of Piedmont Sardinia learned that he would have to gain foreign backing in the future wars of unification. This video is part of a series that covers all of Italian unification and you can find the rest of it on the armchairhistorian.com. There, along with watching the rest of the series, you can see a lot of other YouTube historians covering a great deal of topics. So if you sign up today, you get a 30 month free trial, and if you use the promo code JABSY100, you get an additional 30 days free.